Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show and welcome to the Magic Lists. Tonight we're going to look at a cool magic trick with the with the lists. That um, it's not a new trick; it's an old trick. But I was just I just found out right now that's that's why I, I'm making this video about it. I was just fascinated about this this uh, thing that we have in Java. Uh, the Java language continues to surprise us, right? Um, so this is a unit test that I have right here, and it's uh, located in my project named Spring Boot minus or dash cucumber, and it's uh, publicly available on uh, GitHub. So just check it out as usual if you if, if you if you feel like it. Um, so in this test right here, I have a list. I have created a mutable list, not an immutable list, because um, this creates an immutable list that we have right here, and we have some numbers right here: five, fifteen, twenty. To, uh, 25, 35, etc., etc. So we have uh, we have some numbers right here. It's just I, I'm just adding some numbers to my list, and then I'm wrapping it with an array list because now, then it's mutable. Then I can remove stuff from it, um, and that means that I can remove um, if I want to remove the the, the fifth um, the fifth, fifth element. Then I would just it's actually the sixth element when I do this. That means it will it will take zero one. Two, three, four, five, and then I would like to remove, remove this element right here. That means that I would actually expect the, uh, the number fifty-five to uh, to actually to not to be there afterwards to be to be removed. So let us just run this test and actually see what happens. So I have a I'm still, I'm printing out the the brutal and the netto list. So first we have all of the numbers. Then we have the netto list where now fifty-five is now missing from this list right here. So. Just as, as we expected, that is quite cool. Um, then, um, then the, the 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 trick is actually that if we change this type right here on the left side to a collection instead, a collection, we still call remove. Then we run the code once again. So it is just the left side declaration that we are running, and look what actually happened now. Now the number five was removed instead. So we have this is a brutal list before, and now it has actually removed the, the, the number five. It, it actually went to and removed the object. It removed the object that we actually placed right here instead of uh, placing the removing the index. This is quite cool. I think it's and it's, it's probably something that the the many developers are not aware of, and and and. Uh, there are a lot of developers that actually like to have the left side to be a type where we know as little as possible about our, our type, right? So that means that uh, we have a collection, uh, we have the collection uh, right here, that we have the collection interface right here, and uh, that's why we, we can just we can just uh, name it a collection. And if we did not need the methods in the collection, then even better, then we could actually Maybe we could have used the iterable uh, interface instead, right? So there are, there are some developers that uh, like that. Um, they like to have that approach to, to programming. The, the problem is that you have to know um, you have to know what is actually happening behind the, the scenes. Uh, we are actually uh, we actually warned about this behavior. If if we change it to a list again right here, you can see that IntelliJ now changed this to index instead of O for objects. So if you see if I write collection right here, then uh, IntelliJ is quite smart, so it knows that uh, uh, that uh, now we are trying to remove the object collection. Sorry, we now we're trying to so now it, it changes it to an O, uh, to, and and so we we can see the, uh, by that way that it's actually an object that is removed. If we take the list, then we can actually see if we take the uh, if if we look at the code completion uh, on the remove, then we can actually see we have two versions of this. Um, of, of, of the method right here, we have an object where, where it takes an object, or where it takes an in where it takes the index. And of course, if we go look at the, if we look look at where it takes the index, then that would actually be on the list. So then we go if we hold Control and press the Remove, then we end, end up in the list and li list interface right here. And then we can see this is uh, yeah this is the, the Java doc for the for the list, and we can see that the, it would actually be the index the index number five that is being removed. If I go back and if I remove this to a collection again, and I hold Control and I and I press Remove, then now I will end up with the collection interface instead. So it, it is two different things that actually work and and, and uh, that happens. And in this type, it is actually an object that means they will look for equals to. So and since the numbers are here, five is equal to five, then of course number five is removed instead of the index five right here. 
So all depending on what you actually had in this, this left side right here, then you would have a different result after uh, after you removed the number right here. I just I don't I, you if you are <laughs> if if you have been playing around with Java for a long time, you might maybe you already knew about this trick right here. I just saw it uh, uh, so, some days ago, and I, I was just um, yeah, I was just dazzled by this uh, this behavior right here. So. It is, uh, yeah, in, in, in inheritance, uh, and it's always a lot of fun, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And polymorphism, right? That, that is also always a lot of fun. It, it, it also gives a lot of good side effects, so we can so we can do some good bug fixes afterwards. Then we have another thing that is the shuffle. Uh, that was another thing that I uh, just uh, that, that just that, that just came to my attention and. Um, Let's say that we take this list again right here. And it could be the list. It does not have to be a collection. But um, then we have the, on the collections, collections. Can we actually have a shuffle method? I did not know that that method actually ex existed. Um, so, it, uh, and it actually, it does what uh, what, what, it, what we were expected to do. It just randomizes all the elements in the, in the list. Um, if you are using this for gambling, of course, you should not use the internal Java random um, randomizer. Then you have to use a piece of hardware or a service somewhere uh, that can give you a real random number. Um, you can actually, you can actually, you can actually calculate it is possible. It's not a real random number if you use a Java random number, but many times, uh, a lot of times, it's actually it's good enough for uh, for yeah for the, for for all use cases. Um, but if you need to if you need to build your casino on it, then of course you uh, you should not use the you should not use the built-in uh, randomizer. Then you have to use a yeah, piece of hardware or a service that can provide you with a random number, which is real random. Uh, yeah. And proven random. So here we have the collection shuffle now. Then I'll add my list. So, and then we we'll print out my list afterwards. It was just a cute method actually I found on the collections right here. So now we have 45, 25, 65, 5, and yeah. So let us just let us randomize it a couple of times and then print out so we can just see, see that it's. it's just for fun. Then we get some output. Output is always fun. There are no calories in output, so do not be afraid of uh, running uh, running your code and getting some system output right here. You can see here we have the randomizer. We have and it, look, it looks, of course, we cannot see that it's not random. It's, it's not true random, but um, yeah. And when I say it's not true random, that means that it is, it is actually possible to guess the next number. If you have a lot of numbers, then you can guess um, um, then you can actually guess and, and uh, anticipate the, uh, the, the the next number um, somehow if you know the time um, of when it was actually generated, and if you know the number, then you can uh, then you can figure out what the next number should be or something like that. So it's not a it's not something that can be used for for gambling. I know so much um, that much. So here, yeah, then we have a lot of random uh, audit lists. That's quite cool, right? That's just what I want to show. I know uh, it, it was especially this one that actually dazzled me. It was, yeah, it's really interesting to find things like this. That when you try and change something on the left side, then suddenly you have another result when you when you call something on it. Um, yeah, polymorphism, inheritance, always cool, always fun. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a great evening. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye bye.